my life's not perfect. Everyone has tea. Today I'm going to be doing a chit chat get ready with me because there's just some stuff I would love to rant about, give more clarity on on this channel and also it's been a long time since I've done like a makeup routine video where like I walk you through what I've been doing with my makeup recently. For those of you who watched my cans vlog, I mentioned how I lost my luggage while traveling back home and I had to replace all of my makeup because my makeup bag was in my luggage. We eventually recovered my luggage but then I was stuck with all this new makeup because we thought we completely lost lost my luggage. So with that being said, I have so many new products that I've been loving, including REM Beauty, which I know was a huge request on this channel. I just want to put this out there that I did clean out my closet for summer. So everything that I cleared out is going to be sold at designer consigner per usual. I'll insert some footage of what the items look like. But right now I feel just super organized, super refreshed. And as you can see, because I cleared out this room quite a bit, I have like this little lounge bed area where I could just lay here with friends, have champagne, watch some girly flicks and where I can also get ready. So before I get into this makeup portion of this vlog, I am doing my skincare and of course I'm using my Duval Radiant Spin Care System. This spin brush, as you guys know who have been subscribed to this channel for so long, I've been using this for about 5 years, which is crazy to say. The Radiant Spin Care System comes with 4 heads, 2 cleansing brushes, a body brush for in the shower, and a pumice. You guys can get this exact brush, four brushes in one, for only $23.75 with my code GDBLACK for 75% off. The spin brush actually works like an exfoliator before applying my makeup, and ever since using this brush, I haven't been able to go back to not using it. Okay guys, so I'm just toning my face, and then I'm going to add some moisturizer. Okay, so for my moisturizer, I'm going to be using my Chanel Le Blanc. I use this all the time. Okay, so before I start my foundation, I'm gonna let you guys know I have a list of things that I know that I should talk about. Um, I was gonna ask on Twitter for like a Q&A type situation, but I realized those Q&As are usually like super personalized questions like what's my favorite color, what's my favorite beauty product, which I'm probably gonna be answering all the makeup questions while doing my makeup, but there's like a few like personal life slash like work, music, home renovation questions, like literally so many questions about my life right now. Since Nikki and I, since it's been a second since we've done a reality show, I was like, you know what, let me just do my makeup because I have to do my makeup today anyway and just be real. Let me see if I have everything written down. Hey London fancy babies or anyone near. I'm performing at the O2 on July 15th. I'm performing my whole entire album plus two or three exclusive songs from more upcoming singles and albums. If you guys are interested in seeing me live, then definitely click the link and get your tickets now. So right now I'm using my Physicians Formula Butter Believe It foundation and concealer. I'm a huge fan of concealer foundations. I already started applying it, but um, I really, really love the full coverage look and I love like that clay look. It sounds so weird, but like, well, at least in me and Kenny's language, you know how like best friends have their own language. We describe this certain look that we try to achieve called like clay. Basically, in other words, it's like an airbrush look. And I feel like when you get a foundation concealer or something super full coverage, it can give that airbrush look. Okay, so the first update that I'm gonna talk about is the home renovation slash like the insane amount of pink in the home right now slash what's happening to the Vote Villas Instagram slash what is the name of my house. As fun as it is to name a house, and I've been doing it since I've owned homes, as fun as that is, there's nothing like naming a house doesn't really do anything for me and right now obviously my life is just like grainy and blurry and it's super unplanned and i'm really really hyper focused on so many different things than a name of my house but with that being said i feel like it's not morally right or fair to just take things away from people and even though this home is my house i did buy this house even though this is my house this was a house that i considered to share with colin which 
the living situation is still in that greeny blurry phase because we have so many animals together and like this whole home we created together and he does like house it and come watch the animals and, and he still has like a room we're still like best friends and everything's great i'm not gonna say i'm calling it anything right now i think like one day when i think it's a fun thing to do again maybe i'll call it something or whatever you know at the time <laughs> whatever's floating my boat but right now there's just so many things that i'm preoccupied with i haven't actually thought about that but the instagram i feel like i'll keep it up and running um i am doing a lot of home renovations as you can see and i really would love to document them i just as you know life has just been so different and so weird since i last posted on there and I just feel weird. And I hope you guys can understand that. Okay, next I like to go in with bronzer. Before I use concealer or bake, I do this because I wanna make sure my bronzer is blended. My favorite bronzer to use in the summer is this Pixie bronzer. It's this Pixie Promise palette. And it has like everything I need. I love this banana powder color. It's my favorite thing in the whole world. So I like to use the warm tone powder. I like to put it on my cheekbones and then like blend it out. When it's winter time, I like to use a cream bronzer, but in the summertime, I tend to have more of like oily skin, so I like to use powder, especially since I use a foundation concealer. Okay, so next I'm gonna go in with my ColourPop Pretty Fresh Concealer. I know my foundation is a foundation concealer, but I'm that girl that loves a really, really bright under eye. I even put some on my nose and like, kind of like a, I always call it my fl the flower tip. I don't know why I call it that, but I do like three dots and then like, so I'm going up. For my nose, I like to use a really focused brush. Before I go into my eyes, I am gonna spray my whole face. I learned this on TikTok. And then I wet my beauty blender. And I'm gonna spray some of this on my beauty blender. And I'm gonna get my banana setting powder. Oh my God, I just made a mess. I'm gonna dunk my beauty blender in this. And then I'm just gonna like pat in the translucent powder. Instead of setting it, I'm just gonna like pat it in. See, look how nice and set that is. And I like to set my nose. And then I go back in with my bronzer just to finish it off. I really like to just go back over what I did. Applying bronzer after using the translucent powder has helped me a lot of flashback. Okay, so I like to go in and just like outline my lips after I've done all like the powder and baking because I feel like my lips disappear. I'm using Spice by MAC per usual. So the next topic I'm going to talk about, we are just talking about the home renovations. I'm going to talk about my new like bedroom slash sleepover room. Um, so basically I am giving myself a new room, but this whole upstairs, I want to make it like a get ready vibe for me and my friends, like a girly lounge, somewhere where I can edit, relax. The bathroom I'm going to be redoing after I do the bedroom on the third floor of the house. We have two rooms and a bathroom. So this upstairs loft is going to be like this pink suite where I have this walk-in closet slash glam room and then I'm going to have the Marie Antoinette inspired gold and pink bedroom. Then I'm going to do a very floral shabby chic bathroom. I guess you can say I'm going to go for like fairy tale vibes in the bathroom. And right now, speaking of fairy tale, I'm using the Too Faced Too Feminine blush that has butterflies on it but at the end of the day there are certain rooms that i've always wanted to just make a little girlier this whole pink sweet idea by the way um colin has always known i wanted to do that and it's i'm not saying he didn't let me do it it's just that like i never prioritized doing this pink suite because i had that whole wedding to plan and on top of planning a wedding which by the way is a whole other job and yes i did have a wedding planner even with the wedding planner it's a whole other job and um i just like couldn't focus on certain things and like right now i'm really really hyper focused on like getting my rehearsals done and new music recorded my album just released i'm performing at the o2 in london and having a meet and greet on july 15th if you're from europe or anywhere near london definitely click the link down below if you guys want to get tickets i'm so excited to meet you guys again by the way but basically i was filling up this cup and i wasn't like creating any time for me or colin and i mutually agreed by the way 
on this whole situation nobody left someone for someone else I'm, I'm gonna put that out there it's literally two people who grew up together who were completely overwhelmed just bought a house have a new puppy working really really hard i just totally felt myself collapsing mentally and i feel like everyone online like whenever a youtuber goes through anything people just love to try and find like a hidden message or a hidden story they try to find out the tea and at the end of the day obviously my life's not perfect everyone has tea there's nothing that could be pinpointed towards this mutually agreed decision i'm actually using my rem palette this is the neutral palette i forget what is this called this is called baby doll the baby doll palette and i'm just using this brown color in my crease there's just been so many comments even towards nikki as a public figure who's done multiple seasons of reality shows i know it's like very weird that we're just not talking about stuff i'm growing up and i I am an open book as you can see. I, I'm not scared to talk about anything, but in this case, when I have so much love and care for people, I don't want to drag them into my career. I, I, I think in the past, I've always, like whenever I've hung out with friends, I didn't really ask them, hey, are you okay with being in a video? And I would just pull out a camera, hey, so I'm with this person or I'm with this person and we're doing this. But it's very understandable why so many people have questions i'm not like i'm not gonna gaslight you guys like obviously there's so many good reasons why you would have questions with certain things but with that being said the reason for the broken off engagement was purely because we were overwhelmed in over our heads and also because we have been with each other for like seven straight years and we had not known who we are as individuals outside of this entire thing and this is such a year of growth for not just me for him too so we're just kind of like we're there for each other and you know whatever is meant to be will be i like to use this wet and wild brow kit it looks like this it's like three bucks i don't know if you noticed i do my makeup very out of order it's like whatever feature i'm in the mood to do i don't know if you've noticed ever since my can story time i've been so like confident in like opening up to you guys again what are grab bags okay so basically as you guys know i have a lot of clothes as much as i would love to keep everything i just would not have any room to function in this house and thankfully my friend alex and i have collaborated last year on selling my things in the shop storefront if you guys are from bethlehem pennsylvania you can totally walk in shop buy my fragrance sample my fragrance shop my closet in person or you guys can click down below the link to designer consigners website and get a grab bag or if you see something on their instagram individually that you want to buy yourself you can just dm them but basically a grab bag or grabby bags are my items from my closet that I no longer need or use. A lot of the things I'm selling I've only worn or used once. Sometimes there's an item I've used multiple times and you guys could might probably recognize from my vlogs. I do sell a lot of my designer stuff there, but I also sell stuff that's not designer in designer consigner. Everyone says I tight line my eyes so weird. I like to just like wing out the bottom eyeliner like this. And then I go like this, just like flick it. And then I smudge that eyeliner and make like a wing. Then I take another REM Beauty palette. This one's called Principessa. And I take this black color, this matte black color. I've been loving this red color, but I just would not use this during the day. Um, but I love to use this matte black color to just like add a finishing layer on top of like this buffed out wing. I love that like powdered, smudged, like pulled back, snatched. I like to fill in the wing just a little more. So I got these two gel eyeshadows from Ariane Beauty. This one is called Communication and then this one is called Gift. I'm gonna use Communication because it's more of a warm tone and I'm doing like a warm makeup look today. And I'm just gonna take the slightest bit of this color from the lid because less is more. I feel like one little dab of this is so much. Like these could last you so long. And I'm just gonna dabble this onto my eyelid. I know I do my makeup in a really weird order. I've noticed when I apply this like last, it pops more. Crack. 
curl my lashes. Someone is blowing me up. And of course, I use my CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume Mascara. I'm not gonna wear falsies today because I've been having long lashes recently. I don't know what's happened, but my lashes have grown. So I really haven't been wearing fake lashes all too much. Like, I don't know. I don't know what happened. When it's an event or if I wanna look like super snatched, this is just a daytime look even though I did a wing, but if I'm going to an event and I wanna look super snatched, I'll put some on the outer corners, but the front of my lashes are always natural. I never really wear a full lash. And then I like to apply my Wet n Wild Clout Pout Marshmallow Lip Mousse in the color Fluffa Mutter. Fluffa Nutter. And then I like to use my Hello Halo blush lighter from wet and wild I use this on my cheekbones i don't like to do heavy heavy highlight anymore i used to really really overdo it i just brush it around just put a little little bit here and i put a little little bit there just to go with the wing you know and ta-da one finishing touch that i forgot I just use a little bit of liquid liner in the inner corners and we're done. So let me know in the comments down below if you guys like this makeup look, if I've answered enough questions that you guys wanted answers to. I know I'm sure there's some that I haven't answered yet. I hope you're understanding me a little more. Let me know in the comments down below if you like this type of video, if you wanna see more chit chat, get ready with me. And on what topics, because lately I've been really loving to talk and I feel like there's just so much to say. So let me know. I hope I see you guys in London. The link is down below. Same with the spin brush, my album, same with everything going on in my life, my fragrance, everything's linked down below. I'll see you guys in my next video.